Hello, I'm Siren, and I'm a digital human. I was created by an international team of artists and engineers who wanted to challenge our ideas of what a synthetic human could be. I've got state-of-the-art real-time graphics and an unprecedented level of detail in my eyes, skin and hair. Cool, right? But I'm more than just a collection of fancy pixels. I'm actually being driven by a real human actress and her dynamic motion capture through Unreal Engine. So what are you waiting for? Come meet me at the Vicon booth and see for yourself. Live on stage and on the GDC show floor, an actress in a mocap suit walked around and talked while a digital likeness mimicked her every move in high definition 3D. Motion capture technologies are growing faster and cheaper every day. Oh, Siren's uh, just gonna have a little drink and then we'll be uh, good to go. Lens breakers, all that kind of good stuff. Thank you. We good? Thank you. Okay, so welcome everyone. Welcome back to day three. I hope you're all feeling great. Uh, my name is Tim Doubleday. I'm the VFX product manager of Python. We do the kind of motion capture part of the pipeline. But today I'm thrilled to be able to show you Siren slash Lexi, our digital human. Good. Hello everyone. So Siren is really the, brain, the brainchild of um, Epic Games and the uh, Tencent Chinese company, they worked together to create Siren. They did all the body work, so the rigging, the lighting, the skin shading, all, all you can see with Siren's body is all done by Epic Games. There's also another kind of different components to this presentation, there's the facial capture and the body capture, so there's a number of companies around the world all contributed, so do you want to explain a little bit about those companies? Of course, so as you mentioned, a great by an international team of highly skilled engineers and artists. I was first modelled after a real person, Binji Jian, the Chinese actress who originally performed at Siren. But as you can see today, I'm actually being driven by someone else, a British actress, me, Alexa Lee. The company through lateral scan Binji's body and face. The facial scanning and processing pipeline was able to accurately capture every dynamic muscle contraction and all the faces microscope detail. It really is incredible the detail. I don't know what you think. Just looking at that skin shader, it's amazing. So yeah, Free Lateral, uh, a company based out in Serbia, they do a lot of uh, high-end uh, facial rigs video games. Uh, things like Grand Theft Auto and Battlefield. They've created uh, the, the scanning data you see, see here based on real-world data. So that allows us to capture albedo, translucency, uh, and uh, albedo inclusion. And specular. Very good, thank you. So they didn't just kind of scan the actors, they also created a facial rig. So the facial rig can be animated you know, either by a traditional animation uh, workflow, also by motion capture, as you can see here. Uh, and that facial rig can run in real time at 60 frames a second. So all that's been done in, a, in an Unreal Engine within their blueprint system using live Pretty cool, huh? Really cool, isn't it? Hey Tim, since you are Vicon and they're our host today, why don't you tell everyone a little bit more about the motion capture process? Yeah, so I'd love to do that. Thanks, Soren. So yeah, let's like say we work for Vicon. There's me, there's Katie, and there's James here running the system. Uh, this is our motion capture software, Shogun. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's, uh, it's been out for a year now. It's got a lot, a lot of traction in the industry. It's really been designed to be simple to use which is kind of allowed to capture the process data straight away. So in the past, we've had to reconstruct the data and kind of process it that way. Now what you see is what you get. And we've got our Vantage cameras in the roof. We've got 16 of the Vantage View 5 cameras, and then we've got these View cameras. They have a really wide field of view, so they can capture this whole volume within the space. Uh, Alexis, is, she's got 65 markers on her. These have been tracked by the cameras. And today we're pleased to be able to show you finger tracking. 
So this is kind of an advancement we've added to the pipeline. We're now tracking each finger individually here. This is all being sold onto a custom skeleton. So in terms of the animation, the skeleton we came from Unreal and we're solving it direct within Showcase, which is pretty cool, huh? Definitely. So yeah, the, the, the body motion capture is one part of it. I can see you're wearing a head mounted camera. You can see this? Yeah. It looks pretty cool, huh? very futuristic. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So um, a company called Cubic Motion recreates my facial expressions in real time. So in just a matter of milliseconds, they're tracking and solving algorithms, analyze the data from these two cameras to determine exactly how my face should move. This enables Siren to replicate any movement from an actor's performance. That's not only the major muscle movements, but all the way down to the tiniest micro-expressions. The, the amount of motion it's possible to capture within the system is pretty jaw, jaw breaking. Jaw dropping? <laughs> jaw, it's jaw dropping. Uh, we've got a little video we can show you, like a behind the scenes, so we'll just have a look Sounds at that now. Yeah, I love videos. So that just shows you a little kind of behind the scenes on the process, you know, the makeup, the scanning. Uh, it's really important. Obviously, it's a real dress that you see here on the screen that was originally scanned. Uh, and you look gorgeous, you really do, so. Thank so, you, so how close up does this technology come? Can we get. Uh, should we let mine close up? Yep. yep. Michael can fall. So, it's super, I actually think it holds up better closer to the camera is you can actually see each and every teeny tiny hair and pore on my skin. All of these hairs combined are made up of over a hundred thousand polygons. That's the kind of detail I'm talking about, Tim, which well, I wouldn't usually show people, but I'll make an exception for today. So yeah, further detail was added using subsurface scattering. So this allows us to kind of send natural light onto Siren's face and for the light to diffuse across the skin. Realistically, you can also see here with the eyes, we actually use the real scan data to create the uh, eye, eye rig. This includes things like the wet line and the, uh, and the pupil along with the iris. And that's all being tracked and you see the light reflected in, in her eyes. It's pretty, pretty incredible. It is, isn't it? Should we look at my hair as well? Yeah. I like my hair. I did it especially for you guys today. So my hair is made of a combination of cards and strands. So a strand is an individual hair, you can see here, we've got individual hairs coming down, they're the strands. Cards are actually larger pattern textures, and we combine those two things together to give a kind of layered look to Siren's hair, so it looks really natural and full. So your hair's gorgeous, but what about your dress? I absolutely love my dress. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it. Um, it's quite special, isn't it? Yeah. Should we have a look at it? Yeah, let's have a look further down. So it's simulating in real time, which means if I move, the dress moves realistically. Watch. Woo! So cool. Ten. It's a lovely colour. No, 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 no. That's what I was going to bring up. If I hate You hate the colour? I hate it, but I... am such a strong word. What's that wrong with that? I think so. It's great, right? Oh, thank it's you. It's great. I love the red. <laughs> Well, you can borrow it. I, I prefer purple, but it's purple. Yeah. Okay. Well, should we make it purple? No, we can't do that. Now. There you go. It's purple. Whoa! How did you do that so quickly? Live in real time. Live in real time. It's 60 frames per second. Oh my goodness. Do you have hey, why, why don't we actually tell the audience a little bit about how I'm being rendered and sold live right now? It's 60 frames per second, as you said. <laughs> Let's do that. So yeah, we've got basically a three PC system here. We've got the body and the fingers are all being sold on one PC. We've then got a separate PC which is rendering the face. It's taking the head cam footage 
and uh, solving it in real time thanks to Cubic Motion. Both those kind of data streams are then brought together on a Unreal PC uh, running uh, the LiveLink plugin. So that basically takes both data sources and combines them onto the final image that you see on the screen. It's uh, a lot of kind of overwhelming tech and uh, there's a lot going on, right? Do we have a look? I was about to say this. This is my favourite part. So over 100,000 polygons are there. What's it called again, Tim? The bio. Live wire? Huh? Wire, wire frame. frame. Yeah. Wire frame. Live wire. I always get it wrong. Okay, we're different colour now. So yeah, these are all the different uh, shading options we have within Unreal. It's really just designed to show you the, the kind of different looks that are used to build up the system and make it look so realistic. Tim, what's all this hair on my face? Well, you've actually got microscopic hair details. This is this kind of real realistic look so you can see all the pores and kind of, it's called peach fuzz. I've heard of that, but we don't need people to see No, I know, sorry, it's a bit up close and personal. A little bit, but it's okay. So as you mentioned, it's really overwhelming. But I actually think it's quite exciting to see how this is going to progress. I think it actually opens up tons of new possibilities for people to interact with digital characters. So imagine watching content based on your favourite characters and being able to customise them for each viewer. Or live performances could be streamed into a live game. Yeah, it really is fascinating. The kind of possibilities are endless, right? If you're sat on your sofa, you've got your digital character there actually in front of you, you say, I don't like that colour, I'm going to change it, or I'm going to replace it with a different person. A fully interactive soap opera, for example, could be, could be incredible. Yeah, it could be. So, that's, uh, thanks a lot for coming to see the science presentation. If you've got any questions on the technology being used, then uh, feel free to come up and ask. Likewise, if you'd like to have a photo with uh, Lexi slash Siren, feel free to come in and we can do that for you. Yeah. We're also running the virtual camera here, which Michael's uh, demoing so adamantly. This is going to be released with Unreal 420 in the summer. And at the minute we're using our uh, Active Market Cluster to track the uh, iPad here. But you can use a, a standard iPad AR kit. So if you're at home and you want to do, do a bit of virtual camera directing work, you can do that uh, in the summer. Stay tuned. Sounds good. Yeah, it's oh, fun, huh? Fab, yeah, definitely. Well, thank you for watching, everyone, uh, and enjoy the rest of FMX. Thank, thank you, Simon. Thank you. Thank you.